Hi friends, Will Davis Jr. with good news today. I pray you're doing really well. It's so good to see you. Um, please, as always, send cards, questions, can't, cards, comments, questions, complaints to Senior Pastor SR Pastor at acfellowship.org. All right, so we finished Genesis chapter two yesterday, which is monumental. I can't believe we got through the first two chapters of Genesis. And we'll start on Monday. Um, Genesis chapter 3, which is going to take a minute. Today and tomorrow, I want to talk to you without any judgment about Halloween. I'm not here to tell people what to do. I'm not here to tell you not to trick-or-treat with your kids. My kids trick-or-treated growing up. so. But I do want to give a little bit of... When I drive up and down the streets of our neighborhoods and I see skeletons hanging from trees and I see graveyards and cemeteries with bodies coming out of them and when I see nooses um, or guillotines, blood-stained guillotines. When I see signs for houses of horror and houses of torture, all in the name of fun, I feel the need to push back as a Christian just a little bit. So I'm not going to get much into the history of Halloween. You can Google it and read it yourself. But, but um, Halloween goes back to um, the celebration of All Saints Day on November the 1st in Western Christianity and the Anglican Church specifically and therefore because an All Saints Day or All Hallowed Day was the day you honored the hallowed ones holy is hallowed hallowed ground, holy ground All Saints Day began this honoring of the martyrs and the dead in Christianity so October 31st was Hallowed Eve it was the night before Hallowed Day. It was it was a holy night because it was the night um, before the day we began the honoring of the dead, All Saints Day. Huge Christian holiday. Um, it is also believed that spooks and demonic people and disembodied spirits who wander the streets that night um, looking for people to terrorize as the dead. It was a festival. It was a Celtic festival of the dead, and it had all kinds of bad and demonic and evil connotations I don't choose to go into at this moment. The thing I want to I want to push you on is we are specifically forbidden in scripture. And um, equally it's we're just it's not particularly wise to engage in celebrations that honor evil. And friends, most of the things that I've seen I've seen commercials in the last few weeks watching football games for the movie Halloween Kills, which is a sequel to the movie Halloween. And the the commercials that are showing on TV during the day that any six year old could see are horrifying and unbelievably graphic and violent. They leave very little of the imagination. And the things that, that Halloween has I don't think you dressing up as Lemony Snicket or a or an M and M piece of candy, or your favorite cartoon hero, and going out trick or treating—I don't think it's bad. But so many of the things that Halloween is about are. I just think Christians need to be aware. And some of the stuff that happens in the name of Halloween fun—the the haunted houses, ghosts and demons—and um, that whole fear aspect is completely forbid, forbidden in Scripture. To engage with that in any way at all is forbidden in Scripture. Um, the the trying to use a seance to resurrect the dead and communicate with the dead for strictly forbidden in scripture. Much of what we recognize as ghosts or haunted houses are really demonic activities. You find a house like the Stanley Hotel in Colorado where I go frequently. If there's something there, it's not a ghost. It's not a human trying to get home. It's a demonic spirit. And that's real. And... Um, I think you need to, before you hang that skeleton from the tree outside or before you um, wear a mask that's going to frighten some kid with, you know, the scratches in the head. And, the, and I've seen a guy with a Halloween costume, a 10-year-old kid with it was a severed head on a, on a platform with his head cut off. Friends, that happens in real places. Some of the stuff we mock in Halloween, executions and, and throat cutting and other things, really happens to innocent people around the world. And I just don't know that it's wise for us to engage in that. So um, I want you to maybe do some research, but I think you need to understand that, that, again, as Christians, we're called to be separate and called to be different. I don't know that engaging in holidays and even cultural fun that, that invites 
interaction with dem the demonic and terrifying people in the name of violence and gore and horror, the whole horror concept, you might want to think about it. Uh, I'm not telling you what to do, but I do want to shed light on, on, on the, some of the incongruity between us trying to be holy and honor Jesus and at the same time engaging in things that honor um, terror and demonic activity and bloodshed and murder and torture and all those things that Halloween seems to think is fun. Tomorrow I'll tell you about All Saints Day and what it was. You'll find this encouraging. We love you, Lord. Give us discernment this year. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow.